I guess Ethereum miners are an important part of the ecosystem after all. It took less than a month for miners, specifically mining pools, to show their worth by knocking down those inflated Ethereum transaction fees using their own version of Miner Extractable Value, or MEV. Uh, but to be fair, it's a joint effort between mining pools and third-party developers working with Flashbots. Even the ETH developers couldn't fix the high transaction fee cost, but the knuckle-dragging mining pools could. Let me explain. Trading users and firms have been using trading bots that exploit Ethereum's price gas auction, or PGA, MEV vulnerability by arbitraging trades between decentralized exchanges or DEXs. This PGA price gas auction occurs at the consensus layer and basically means the bots were monitoring the transaction queue for large trades. They could front run, back run, run or sandwich to profit off of, sandwich between two of their own transactions to profit off of. The bots would benefit from the arbitrage as long as the profit stayed above the transaction cost. This activity drives gas prices slippage amounts up because the bots try to front run each other and get into a bidding war to capture the opportunity themselves. Miners using MEV by selling block inclusion to third parties or investors and bots has an opposite lowering effect on the gas prices. If you want more information on how MEV works, you can check out my other videos on the topic as well. I've got a couple of them on the channel here, uh, so check those out if you're a little foggy on what MEV actually is. So what exactly is happening here? Flashbots, an organization that defends transparent minor extractable value ecosystem, is working with mining pools to implement their own MEV exploit, which keeps the transaction hidden from arbitrage trading bots that, that the firms use. Mining pools get to actually confirm the transactions and add them to the blockchain. So they are always closer to ground zero of blockchain creation and can even work with other pools to sell those transactions to, to them if they are not the ones winning or solving the block. So essentially, Flashbots created an ETH node for mining pools that watches the mempool as usual, but also connects to a relay server at Flashbots in a parallel channel that connects miners to the bots that are trying to get their transaction included. This prevents the bots from fighting with each other since they can't see the other transactions in the queue. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. In MEV, there's no one more advantage from an organizational standpoint than the mining pools. This creates a scenario where there are potentially no pending transactions from trading bots visible to the public since they are sitting in a single node's queue at a mining pool. This all happens behind the scenes, so to speak, and will have a larger percentage of the profit actually go to the miners instead of the trading bots going to war in the queue, causing high fees for everyone. I believe there may be an effort in the Ethereum dev community to prevent MEV altogether in the future, but it will take quite some time to get there since it may involve deeper, more involved changes in Ethereum's base layer. Things such as separating inclusion and ordering of transactions or even transi transitioning to proof of stake sooner takes a lot of planning and testing and shouldn't be rushed. Proof of stake could allow for heavy slashing and penalizing for counterproductive MEV type activity. So what could this mean for Ethereum value? Gas prices and transaction fees should go down and they have the potential to stay that way. So we'll probably see an increase in Ethereum usage by non-whale users that were basically knocked out of the game due to the high fees. And this may have a positive effect on the Ethereum value, but none of this is financial advice. You have to do your own research and stay savage, everybody.